Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Anshell franchise mode. Today we are into season three, I think. No, season four. I don't even know what season we are in. But we are in the first game. We are, of course, contender in the last episode you saw. Of course, I lost the episode of the first round of loss in the season sim. But we ended up losing the Columbus Blue Jackets in the second round. Now we start all over. And also you saw the draft. You also saw the draft. And we got a bunch of big name guys. Like a medium elite. Full. You see Vanunen in the fourth round. Then we got a medium elite goaltender and then we also got a couple low elites and medium top sixes so we're pretty set but you know you see our trade block we do have true bond there and I'm thinking of trading him away just because I think he's declining and we could free up cap to of course sign some free agents cuz I mean we also have Cam Fowler who's getting paid almost the same amount as him but who's but isn't how old is True? We might even just try to look. The, True was 27, 83 overall, getting paid 6.2. Fowler is 29, get 84, getting paid 6.5. So I think we'll just trade away Fowler. I mean Fowler. Truba, you know, doesn't really look like we're gonna get a lot for him. I don't even know what I want to get. I'd like to get a guy like fucking Glenn Giller, but Barrett Hayden. Could be a guy we could bring in. I don't think they would do that straight up though. Nope. Anton Adam McQuay, they want to trade away. Because we do have, we could play with Keandre Miller. We have our third defensive pairing is right now Truba and Ryan Lindgren. So we could obviously throw in. Um, like Piak or Lindgren or Hayek even, so we don't really need, you know, we'll still have a good third pairing even if we give away Truba. So I'm just kind of, Jimmy V's he signed with the Sharks and they want to get rid of him. I'm kind of just looking at the, looking at the, what's it called, the trade block and Ryan O'Reilly, 30 years old, Ooh, is he really, he's getting paid a lot. No idea. I don't know if we should get like a prospect. Who's rebuild there? The Ducks are rebuilding. What the fuck? The Canucks, they have. Best here. Where is Quinn Hughes? Where the fuck is Quinn Hughes? Is he not on the team anymore? Jonathan Darlene. Bro, I put Quinn Hughes in this game. Is he, did he just not resign with him? What the fuck? Yeah, I wonder where Quinn Hughes is at, bro. Let's see if Brady Kachuk's still on the Senators. Yeah, this Quinn Hughes went to the Senators. What the fuck? I guess he went and joined Brady Kachuk. And he's a free, free agent after this year. So we can maybe try to jump on that. Thomas Shabbat. Logan Brown. Gustav Nyquist. You know, I think I'm going to just try to get Hayden. You know, of course, we get another center. Actually, we really don't need that. I don't even know what the hell we need, to be honest with you. But Barrett Hayden, 77 at least. What is he getting paid right now? One million for two years. He has no way of eligibility, so he could play our minors for now. So that straight up won't work, so maybe we could throw in... Obviously, we could now maybe now if we trade with Chuba, we could try to trade away this guy right here and try to get someone good just because we're freeing up the cap. So let's try to give them Chuba and a sixth round pick for Hayden. It's not going to go through. Maybe Chuba and a fourth. That's not going to go through. Probably, I don't really want to give them a third. Truban a third round pick for Baird Hayden. That's not gonna get through. Go through what the fuck? 
I don't even know if Chuba in a second round pick is really worth it, but Jacob Chuba in a second round pick for Barrett Hayden and a fourth round pick. And that's rejected. What if we get a fifth? Let's we'll try to get a sixth. And that's accepted. So we trade away a second round pick, get a six round pick, but we get Baird Hayden, another center, who's a 77 overall. Hopefully he grows. He's got no waivers, so we're going to send him down and let him play in the minors this year. So now it's just we're going to have to edit lines. I'm just going to do best lines and see what they put out there. So best lines. I don't really want to Kratz off up there. Switch him with Donato, then switch Anderson Heedle, and then Howden Cousins. And of course, we got Michael Grandner. We signed him. Defense, we have Shea, Petrangelo, Shankirk, Fowler, and Hayek. Lindgren. Lindgren is. Do we have. I think for now, I'm going to start with Piak. Because Lindgren is the defensive minded guy. But I would like to play with Hayek. But we'll put Lindgren in there. Kind of look at the special teams, switch that, and then I'll move Fowler up with Trangelo and Shane Shankirk. All right, so that's a big trade right there. Of course, we get another center prospect. I don't really want to know if we would really consider him a prospect this year, but we do have also free up cap, like five million in cap. So let me just add the lines in the AHL, make sure Hayden will be playing. We have a really good center core in this league. Boo Nieves, Vinny Letieri, Martin Kaut, Piri Krat. We have a pretty good team right here. Hayden, I want him first line. Kaut, I want first line. And then defensively, we have Kendrick Miller and Vuko Jevich. So they'll, they're pretty much on the come up. Niels Lind, Chris Brennan, Crawley Gilmore, and Stalin. And then we have who else? Joey Keane and Gross. Yeah. Oh, that is and Wolfpack contender too. So you know why not? We'll hop into the third period of this game, and play it, just to give a little game play in this one. First period, sim nothing. Second period, they score one to nothing. So now it's our turn. We have a 95 offense. That's crazy. How do they have a 94 goalie? Who's their goalie? Hmm. I really wonder who the goalie is, but we have a 95 offense, which is crazy. Imagine if we still had Chuba. Probably our defense is probably 94. Downgrade a little bit, not that bad. Our defense pairing is basically two 80s instead of an 85. So, we got. Colin White against Nick Baxter. Baxter, yes, is still on the team. Okay, Chuck and Quinn Hughes. I think I guess Quinn Hughes left in like free agency or some shit. Come up with Nylander to Backstrom. Backstrom's gonna wait, shoot, and a, oh my god! Every time I play with Backstrom, I just snipe that shit. What a fucking shot by Nicholas Backstrom, showing he still has it. And we tied up just like that. The super Swede for us. Ranger fan there. Nick Backstrom, his first goal in his first game in the back to back. Back to back seasons, he scored his first goal in the first game, I think. And he scored the first goal for the Rangers. So we take take the lead. We tie it up. Bring it up with Shea now. Looking, looking. Bring it back out. We're going to cut back down. A little speed boost. Shea gets around and he scores. Brady Shea got in the back and we score. Not the bad, whatever the load is. So Benizia Donato Bucinavich basically the same as last year. Mostly the same. This time we have Fowler instead of Truba come back in with so Benizia back to Fowler. I'm gonna rip one. Braden Holt he's their goalie. What? Hold up, let me just look at a setting real quick. Braden Holfe is their goalie. That is wild, bro. Alright, we're good. I guess they signed him. I wonder who the Capitals goalie is. 
third line now. Elias Anderson, Filipino, and Vitaly Kratsov. Kratsov is now an 81. Seems like he's really starting to break the ice. Or he's always Brady was always playing, but here's Brady Kachuk. He's challenged by Fowler. We get it out to Elias Anderson, who gets crushed. Kachuk fans on it. Anderson picks it up, and he's gonna try to get a breakaway, but he's chased down. Here's Gustav Nyquist, who I crush with Cam Fowler. Filipino up the wing now. We're gonna get it up to Cam. Cam is gonna shoot it. Didn't really mean to. And it's an easy save by Holtby. Oh my god, another big hit. Grabner, the fourth line is in now. Resign right Grabner. Now we got rid of VZ. Get Grabner. So old base went over Colin White. Mike Hoffman's still on the team. I guess I started this before that update. There's Brett Howden, number 48. He's been rocking 48 for the team in uh, the camp, so I just went with that. He was 20. Brett Howden still doesn't have his first goal. Are you kidding me? Oh, because he didn't really play last year. I had to send him down because of the salary cap. We had to play with uh, Yeves. So we get a trip in penalty and we take a power play with 12 minutes remaining. Filipino Booch and Zvenejad with Shattenkirk and Fowler, I think, on defense. Maybe even Shea. Oh, it is Shea. Does so anyone the face off and send it out? Let's try to chase it down with Shattenkirk. Pick it up with Shea up top to Hedl and he comes up the right wing looking to get in the zone. Makes one man miss. A screen play and oh my god. Hope he was screened and we shot it right into his glove. What a surprise. <laughs> Back in the face off in the zone. We tie him up. Pooch damage can't really get his stick on it. Pass shot was clear attempt was tipped and we bring it back in with Heedle looking to get close to the zone. Take it around. Back to the point is Shattenkirk. Get around two, looking, looking, up to Heedle, to the Benijed, and try to feed Heedle to Booch. Booch, looking, looking. Oh, I lost it. Chapat gets it out to Paquette, and an offsides. I thought it was a penalty. And now, 57 seconds left in. The power play. Here's Backstrom. Wins the face off. I pick it up with Nylander, who gets absolutely crushed by the Ottawa centerman Riley Sheehan. Fowler kind of gets him back. They send it in front to nobody. I don't know who that was. His family shot got also crushed by Krapsoff. They send it in front and they tie it up and they get a shorthand goal. Oh man, that's frustrating. So now it's a tie game. 38 seconds left to go in the period. We're going to set up the Nylander. Nylander's going to wait, wait, wait. Over to Fowler with the one-timer. It was blocked, and they clear it again. And it seems like we only have one more. We only have time for one more push. Here is Vitaly Krasov. I tried to spin with him. I got absolutely crushed by CC. And they send it in. And that seems like it's going to be the power play. With one last push, Fowler to Kraftsoff. What the hell? I didn't want to. Oh, I don't know what he just did. Didn't really do the deke I wanted him to do, and that is the power play. We gave up a goal. Kraftsoff couldn't get a stick on the puck. They send it back out. We tip the pass away. Here comes Zabinijad now. Waits, waits. We're going to rip it, and what a goal! by Mika Zabinijad. Oh my goodness. And we regain the lead 3-2. to two. What a shot. What a goal. Now we just need an 8. Big defensive period. The rest of the way. Zabinijad knocks it away. We try to cut in. Toe drag. Oh, we got tripped up. And Holtby covers up. Uh, oh man. Donato... And Shabbat dropping the gloves. I think I clicked Y by accident. I think Donato's, a, he could probably fight a little bit. 
actually the first fight I think in this franchise. She probably can't get a hit in. Oh, there it is. We are pounding him though. Dodges that one. One more hit and another one, and he goes down for the count with Ron Donato kicking the shit out of him. So now we have full energy. Some of the first lines out there with Piak and uh, Anderson. Piak and Lindgren. Oh, I fucked that up. I want to see really what Lindgren's about. My friend just keeps inviting me. He's probably going to probably wants to play 2k. I might even record that. Because after this game, I'm going to I'm going to stop recording for this episode and maybe I'll uh, record some park. We're going to try to send in front to I think that was Backstrom, but he couldn't get his stick on it. Six minutes to go. Lindgren with a hit. Here comes Ottawa. Hit by Piak, and we retain it. Try to get it out. Oh, they sent it back. Shot. Rebound. And I couldn't get on it with Lindgren, and they tie it up. Lundqvist went to stack the pad, and he couldn't get it. Now we find ourselves down. But Anderson pokes it away, trying to cut in. Cuts back. Not the guy I wanted, but it goes in. I didn't want to go. I wanted to go to Shea, but Shat Shattenkirk said Benjad with the one timer on his off hand. Opposite side. Doesn't get full power on it, but it fits through Holpe, and we regain the lead just like that. So Benjad with his second goal of the game, second goal of the season. Here's Nyquist who gets hit by Petrangelo. Petrangelo. Breaking up the right wing. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to go to Buchevich. The Benjamin knocks it away. Can't get it back. And now they take it. Anderson knocks the pass. They get it back. Here comes Kachuk. He's blasted by Shea. Up top to Booch. We have a 2 1 1 with Anderson. To Anderson. Back to Booch. What a save by Holby. Petrangelo now with it. He got tripped. And we're going to have a power play from most. For basically almost the rest of the game. Oh, what a play by Anderson to get it back to Booch. To get it back, we're gonna take a blast. Can't squeeze it through. Kratsov picks it up to Fowler. Oh, I wanted to go to Kratsov and they pick it off. I don't know, get that. They send it in. Can't get it. Shabbat sends it down and we ret now we pick it off with. Backstrom getting chased by Ottawa defenseman or whoever that is. Vitaly Kratsov shoots. And it's easily saved by Braden Holpe. Benajad one goal away from the hat trick. We can actually throw him on the, on the power play when it gets down to a minute. And we'll try to score with him. Hopefully we don't give up a goal. And we'll try to get him the hat trick. We lose the face off. Oh, pick. Oh, I wanted Shanker to come down, but we get it with. Backstrom. Got Kratz off. Wait for it. There he is. Oh! And he picked it off. And here comes Ottawa. Broken stick on the plate. Shea breaks in. Heedle over. Oh, his pass was too far ahead. And they send it down. Still only a minute to go in the power play. A minute and 20. To go in the game. Here's to Benajad. He gets tripped, and we have a five on three opportunity. Basically, a power play for the rest of the game. And we can basically get an easy goal here to take a two goal lead. If we can win it back, we do. And oh, we just walk right in with Petrangelo and snipe it. Five to three now. Back to a three on four. I'll let them win it just so that they could get the puck in and pull their goalie. And then we'll look to get Zabinijad. There he is. Big hit. Shabbat picks it up. Sends it in front. Oh my god, what a play. We're going to go up to Zabinijad and he is loose like a goose as. Oh no, it got tipped. As, um, what the hell is his name? 2BC Productions. Another. NHL commentator says, I don't know if he says it that often, 
Oh, we're trying to get this advantage out against his former team. Had an open net. And they just came out of nowhere and tipped it. Good hit by Booch, and we retain it again. Where is the Benajad? Oh, there it is. Okay, with the Benajad, 30 seconds left. We're gonna try to get in the zone. The Benajad in, shoots, and he scores. And that is the hat trick here in Ottawa for Mika Benajad. And we are gonna win this game six to three. Uh, face off, one back to us. I'm just gonna hold the puck. Send it up to Nemestikov. Oof. Lindgren lost it to Hoffman. Hoffman with a shot saved by Lundqvist. Rebound is wide. Lindgren now with it. The back jump. Nemestikov picked off by Carlson, and that is gonna be the game six to three. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. We did trade Truba, played this game. Next episode, we'll, of course, sim some more games and see if we can make any more moves, possibly trade some of our top prospects and bring in young, younger players. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.